Hey Virgo, hey Virgie, how you doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back. All those that have been walking with me, thank y'all for coming back. Those that are new, thank y'all for coming. I hope it helps in some sort of way. I am on a journey of learning more about myself, so I'm going through the deacons, and deacons mean that you can have the same sign as someone else, that y'all could be totally different. It's three different types of the same sign. So the first one I'm going to focus on is Virgo, Virgo, okay? And I'm going to read a little bit about it, and then I'm going to do a tarot card on it, maybe help out a little bit, and, um, you know, just to give a little heads up, okay? And if you see the thumbnails, I'm putting different thumbnails for different things going on in the world, different things happening. Uh, someone claims three days of, of no light, uh, supposed to be air, uh, can't breathe, just, just different. It's not going to go with, it may go with what I'm talking about, and it may not. So don't get offended, okay? All right, let's get started. Deacons of Virgo. The first deacon of Virgo is ruled by Mercury and is the Virgo deacon. These born under, so you Virgo, Virgo, the real Virgo. These born under this deacon have a very intellectual and extremely ra rational mind. They are productive to a fault and always seek to make their way, their day function more product productive productively. Oh my goodness. So that they can be more useful with their time. They enjoy intellectual relationships in which they can discuss plans and ideas with those around them. They are also great warriors, and their inner self-critical critic is probably the strongest of all people in the zodiac, as they are constantly analyzing everything. The mutable energy of the deacon means they are often course-correcting, which can be both a blessing and a curse. So if you are born August 22nd to September 1st, this is you, and I have a sister. <laughs> It was born on the first. Okay. So, yes, she is like that. Okay. So, we're going to do a little tarot and see what they want to tell you. Answers, guys. Higher ups, whoever you believe in. Okay. Your higher self. So, yeah. Angels. Beings, whatever. Oh. Okay. Go. I'm gonna uh, break it up in three and do a, a overall past, present, and future. Okay. Okay. Let's see what's happening. Okay, we got the two of swords of reverse, and that is the first deacon Libra moon card. Peace and harmony needing to take the blinders off. Keep reassuring the situation at hand so you're not getting any peace and harmony oh well maybe you took the blinders off and you can see better now right okay there we go so you can see the whole situation and, and reassessing it and and know what you need to do okay let me finish putting the other ones down okay past present and future okay so yeah you done took them blinders off Jug somebody if you had to no spray. Not in your feelings no more. You know, looking at a ain't got to look at the moon, gotta look at the sun, having a brighter day so you're aware of what's going on. You know? You move you you're analyzing it, your intellect, you're moving to the next step. Okay. Let's go a little deeper and see what they talking about. So yeah. Uh, maybe being indecisive, you don't want to make a decision, you're hesitating. Like I say, you analyzing and, you know, weighing both the situations is giving you anxiety. Okay. Uh, probably too much information. It's like, hold up, wait a minute, hold up. Let me process this stuff. You know, can't even make a right choice. It's, it's the truth. And it came out and it's like, let me weigh the whole situation or whatever it is. So you got obstacles in your way and 
stall in progress. People are all telling you this and telling you that, one telling you this, one telling you that, you know, trying to make action, but it's, it's, you can't. You see, both situations are four, five situations, and you can't make a decision right now. You got to think. You got to meditate. You know, you got to go away from everybody. So in love, you don't see nobody in your face you've been talking to that could be the one, you know, that's not on the same page as you, you know. You're trying to prioritize love and family and work, you know, but that ain't working. You can't really do that anyway. Okay, bro? <laughs> you know, but you're going to try. You're like, okay, let me see who working with me. Let me see who I can build with, you know, and you haven't found that person yet. I know the feeling, Bergen. Um, in career, you got choices, but you're not winning. It's not working. Whatever you're trying is not working. All the crew you got is not working, you know. No, no win-win in this. You know, you're getting stressful about that. Trying to get it together, you know, it's, it's getting on your nerves. Your finances, you're realizing what you got, you better hold on to. Then not, you know, lose this little change you got. Especially everything happening today, you don't know what may happen. Besides, you're not, you know, don't have the right profession yet, or everybody not bring, not on one accord and not agreeing, not being a team, not making that money. You know that, you know that takes all of that, Bergen. You know that communication got to be on point in order for that money to come in. So you got kind of like lay low right now and just regroup. Maybe find you another crew, another circle, you know, and um, and hold on to what you got and get away from that circle. Decisions to be made, Virgie. Okay, let's see in the past what it was about. Okay, you got the sun upside down. Fire, marriage, happiness, bright prospects. So maybe marriage went bad in the past. And, you know, things weren't going right and a lot of cheating and drinking and smoking and whatever and, and you know, whatever it may have been. You know, the business and, you know, maybe I, you thought there was the one and it wasn't the one. Now you've been extra cautious because that was not the one, you know. And you, you know, kind of decisive. You're trying, kind of picky on, you know, who is the one. I don't know who messed up in the situation, but... You know, you're realizing your part, hopefully you are, not being uh, arrogant, you know, and see what's, what's happening so you can not make those mistakes again. So let's see, Virgie. Okay, Virgie. Like we say, things ain't going your way, you know, ain't coming together, you know, in, in uh, the past. They wasn't coming together them either. Nothing going your way due to... Um, Maybe you were trying to get pregnant or lost a child. I'm sorry. So sorry. My condolences. Or you're trying to teach your kids something and they want to listen to a relationship. Maybe I just didn't see eye, to eye, eye to eye. Or like we say about a job. Um, maybe one of y'all was arrogant, egotistical, trying to uh, be something you're not. Or trying to want something you're not. You know, and, and, uh, and work don't want to work hard but you want the status and the recognition and the money for it so one of y'all i don't know okay but it is a positive card but it's you need to work harder you need to visualize you need to say what you want you know and go after what you want whether whatever that is relationship job family and be assertive and be there for the children so they can trust you and really sit down and talk and you know, and teach them and, and bedtime and the whole nine yard be a real parent. If that's the issue, or your mate, you know what I'm saying? If that's not the issue, if it's work related, you got to put you got to put the time in. You, people got to feel comfortable if you're trying to start a business. They got to know what you're talking about, you know? So, yeah, that was the past, okay? Now the now. Okay, hello. So you're the high priestess, the moon, water, highest card in the tarot deck. Very powerful, good and bad, secrets to be revealed. So, okay. So hopefully this is not meaning you're being sneaky or nothing, but you're being very intuitive. You're checking everything out. You can see this bow at this dark and light, yin and yang, whatever. And I know those are, are pomegranates in the background. And she got the tarot in her hand and the moon at her feet. And it's water, blue for the water, your emotions. So you're in your emotions, but you're 
you kind of maybe hopefully ain't in a dream state you know what i'm saying and you you just well maybe you're visualizing what you want now okay so you're visualizing it you know you're strong because the boaz you know how he did with roots it happened to be my name <laughs> that um you know he was over everything you know and he married the best one you know the best prize so he was boss so you finna be boss i forgot what the j mean y'all i'm gonna have to go back and look okay so that's a good call let's see let's see y'all okay so uh you listen you need to listen to your intuition now instead of intellect okay you gotta have some feelings but put a nozzle on it spiritual you meditated you went into prayer <clears throat> you went off to yourself like we were talking about now you know your hidden talents like I say, you're too intuition on point. You being mysterious, you ain't telling everybody what you're doing. Ain't they business? You have spiritual insight. You can talk to your ancestors, whoever you need to talk to. Um, and you waiting to reveal your next step, you know. Or your higher power, whoever you talk to, inner voice, whatever. So she's like Isis, one of the high priestess, okay. And that's Solomon's temple. So I was looking at the J, that's Jacelyn, and that means the pillar of establishment, okay? And Boaz is the pillar of strength. So you got the strength, you're ready to establish that business. It's masculine and feminine, so you done got both sides of you, and Virgo, y'all know y'all know how to do that. Okay, don't hide that, okay? Y'all got masculine and feminine, that's just who y'all are. You're embracing it, using your mind, using your heart, using your, you know, uh, uh, intuition. You got good and evil, however it's going to go, negative and positive. Y'all know y'all could do that as well. <laughs> y'all can go on both sides. That's just who y'all are. And you're being a mediator, figuring out who you need to stay, who needs to go. Being in control of the role, okay? You have knowledge. You're looking at the both sides of the coin. You believe in magic, so you're going to use it. Okay, to the best of your ability. You're going to weigh the pros and the cons of whoever coming into your circle. You're connecting to the season of the earth, so you know when to happen, when not to happen, the whole nine yards. They didn't give you insight. You got control over your emotions. The pomegranates is ambition, so you're going for what you know. Okay, now we come to the future. Okay, Bergie, what are we doing? We just was strong right there. It's still a good call. It happened. It's good things. Part in the celebration. So if it didn't turn out okay, let me see. Third Deacon Pisces. Still a Pisces. Still a water sign. You're not. Don't be in your feelings. Everything will be good. Maybe the person didn't accept you back. You know. Maybe some things you got to tweak. You're a magician now. You know what I'm saying? You well, you not the magician. You using the magic. So you got to weigh the pros and the cons. Go back. Okay. What did I do wrong? You know, did I need to tweak this over here and not that over there to let this person go? Why well, ain't you look inside of me? You know what I'm saying? You need to tweak some stuff. You know, maybe she wasn't right. Maybe she was right. You know, maybe I said the wrong answer to the kids. Whatever it may have been. You know? Ooh, excuse me. So you just got to go back and regroup a little bit. Because you're doing good, okay? Let's go a little, little deeper. Okay, so... This is more of a family, right? So maybe all the business, everything you thought of was pretty good. But, you know, maybe the family relationship, like I say, maybe y'all still separated and she won't take you back or whatever. The trust issues are there, he or she. And uh, it's going to take a little time or just loving on yourself if it don't work out. Hopefully y'all can be cordial, you know what I'm saying? Or it could be your teenager acting up, running away or can't find them, don't know what's going on, being wild. You know, look back in your youth and see how they feel and really get off into their feelings and, and you know, see how can you help, you know. Or it could be somebody have mental illness in, in the family, you know, causing problems. You might want to get them some help. I know for a fact, if you, not just to say look at my channel, but if you look at some of the, um, Mother Nature's plants and stuff that I show, I, I show about mental illness, uh, things that you can eat and change your diet and get crystals and, hey, uh, it's a lot, you know what I'm saying, that you can, you can help and you can research. I got a couple on my, on my channel you can look at. Or if someone passed, like I say, my condolences, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, just, you know, just change you, realize your mistakes, that's really all you can do. 
um, like I said, if you're missing the kids, going off, maybe they're going off to college or going off on their own and they're leaving home now. All the kids may be missing the parents and the parents going off and on a trip or whatever it may be. It could be simple as that. Um, if it's the kids, you know, realize you did your job, you raised them, because if you didn't, they want to stay, still stay at home, okay? So now you did their job, they want to go explore, and, and they want to get their circle, and they want to do what they're supposed to do, and they're going to take the knowledge and intuition and everything that you gave them and apply it to that situation in the world. So that's, that should make you happy. So that's not a bad call, Bergie. But okay, this is what I have for you, Bergie, Bergie. It's your girl Ruth signing off. If you like, subscribe, share, and comment, I really appreciate it. And I hope I help someone, okay? Love y'all. Have a great day, okay? Bye.